Hi, my name is Dale Maley. In this short video, I'd like to tell you about a fun project I recently completed and a little history on this project. In the past, I've designed and built just about every type of gearing that I can think of using wood. I've also built a chain, which is normally made out of steel. I built a chain made from wood along with the wooden sprockets. So I decided to try building a model with wooden ball bearings and I'd have it run a wood chain. If you're interested you can see my other YouTube video and I explain how I design the wooden ball bearings. I also have another YouTube video which explains how I designed and built wooden chain and sprockets in the past on past projects. So let's just take a minute and review the design of this model. Here's a photograph actually looking at the back of the model because it's easier to explain than the front. So in the upper left hand corner is the hand crank and it can be run anywhere from 0 up to 200 RPM is about as fast as an adult or a child can crank. Once you crank it the power goes into peg gear set 1 and that peg gear has a 2 to 1 uh, speed reduction ratio what that means is it will run anywhere from 0 to 100 RPM. Following the powertrain to the right, it feeds into peg gear set number 2. It also has a 2 to 1 ratio, which means the speed there is going to be anywhere from 0 only up to 50 RPM. Then that feeds towards the front into two wooden ball bearings, and those wooden ball bearings actually use 1 inch marbles for the balls. Then uh, following the powertrain, or the powertrain stops there with the peg gear set too. However, there's a wooden chain set with sprocket, which feeds the power from the left hand bearing over to the right hand bearing. It has a two to one ratio. Uh, the left hand sprocket's twice as big as the right hand one, and that means the right hand bearings will run anywhere from zero to 100 RPM. And by the way, the right hand bearings are two wood ball bearings but they're using three quarter inch wood balls. On the front of the model I put two pointers so you can see how fast each bearing turns. The red will run from 0 to 50 RPM and the yellow will run twice as fast 0 up to 100 RPM. And now for the fun part let's watch this model in action as I hand crank it. Now you'll notice that the yellow pointer on the left rotates twice as fast as the red pointer on the right. Now here's a close-up view of the peg gear. It's kind of fun to watch it operate. So for some closing thoughts on this project, some people might say it's impossible to build steel ball bearings and steel chain out of wood, but as you saw here it can be done. Most challenging item on this project was designing the wood ball bearings and then figuring out a process to make the bearings. It was also a little bit of a challenge to do the wood chain where you had a small and a big sprocket. So in summary, this short video explains how I designed and built a hand crank model that had wooden chain, uh, wooden bearings, wooden chain, and wooden sprockets. Hopefully this video gives you some ideas and helps you on your projects. I hope you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe. Thank you.